Alright, today I'm going to check out Pan Asia. Alright, guys, I'm in Pan Asia. We are getting a live yellow eel. Is that the one? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, that's it. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. Okay, so my mom is washing the eels. Unfortunately, um, we forgot it was in a bag and then I think it died. So at least that's good because when we cut it up, I'm sure some of you guys will complain that we are, you know, <laughs> cutting up a live animal. As you can see, the eels, live eels are dead. She's just washing it thoroughly. I've never cleaned up myself. So as you know, the eels don't have any scale, it's just a smooth kind of like the snake. So what my mom used was a mixture of salt and flour to get rid of the sliminess. You mix it with the water and then you clean it thoroughly. Okay, my mom came and cut the eel. Uh, she's also on the phone on WeChat with uh, Sunday School, so please mind, don't mind the um... <laughs> it's the Chinese words. So you slice it along the body to remove the internal intestines. So you want to remove the bladder and the stomach because that's bitter. Oh, Similarly oh, on the fish, if you don't remove that, it's going to ruin the flavor of the fish. That's one of it. See it's all s stuck together, so relatively easy to remove. I know it looks nasty, but once you get used to it, that's survival <laughs> skills. Okay, we're going to cut the head, and I believe we're going to cut it into um, about two inch chunks. Okay. You can chop it, or you can. Probably easier to chop it because it's pretty uh, solid. Alright, so my mom have it all chopped up. Got some ginger, garlic, um, salt, dried jujube, the red dates, oyster sauce, and she cracked a whole egg in there. Wow, this actually looks really pretty good. And also a little bit of soy sauce. And olive oil. She's mixing up real good. Mom, what's for dinner? What are you cooking? Onion rice. Onion rice. Oh, you gonna cook it with this? And Kersona Missouri rice. I've never had this before. We got. We bought this from uh, Pan Asia. Oh, I thought this would be like basmati rice. Interesting. Look at this rice texture. Hmm. Okay, so this bag of uh, 20 pound rice costs 18.99, so definitely not cheap. Two cup. Two cup, come One cup. Okay, so we're measuring. One cup. About actually, uh, that's about a little bit over one cup mm. of rice. Oh wow, my mom decided to use one of these fancy clay pots, similar to the Korean style restaurants. You know, they put the rice, purple rice, and stuff in the clay pot. So the recommendation is one cup of water. I meant one cup of rice. 
you would use two and a half cup of water. All right. We're my mom decided to make eel rice. That's oh, how she's gonna vegan. prepare the eel. I thought we were gonna make a onion rice, but anyway, this is a good um, this is a good good re recipe regardless because this is like a special uh, Japanese dish, right? Like steamed eel with rice. Wow, look at that. That looks so beautiful inside this clay pot. A little bit of olive oil. Okay, I can cover it now. How long are we gonna cook this, Mom? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes, because the rice has already been cooking for, I believe, around 10 minutes. Okay, Mom, it's ready. Wow, it smells so good. I really love that red dick flavor. Wow, look at the rice. Is the rice uh, too soft? Let me taste a little bit. So this is the first time cooking with this type of rice. Uh, we don't know exactly how much water. Okay, it's not too soft, not too hard. It's, I think it's the right balance. Maybe next time I cook it a little bit more drier. Mom's mixing it up, getting all that flavor in there. Wow. Very nice flavor, especially since my mom put that uh, mixture so it's not fishy anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and plate it. Look how beautiful it looks. All right, guys, welcome back. Yes, I am chilling in my parents' living room. We're in the STL, baby. And my mom hooked me up with another delicious dinner recipe. As you can see, I cut up some uh, lemon slices because whenever you're eating fish, when you add that citrusy flavor, it masks any lingering fishy taste that might have. And please excuse the background noise because my mom is watching like a Chinese soap opera, right? First time trying the Missouri Indian rice. I think we added just a little bit too much water. I actually Googled it. He said two and a half times uh, for the amount of rice, but actually it's, you need a little bit less. And that's the picture of it. I was expecting actually it to be in the form of um, basmati rice. I was expecting it to be long grain, but it's not. It tastes similar to the jasmine rice. Right now, I'm sensing that flavor that's brought out by this juicy looking eel. Live, mm -hmm. my mom prepared it properly, cleaned it up real good, almost halal. Actually, let me squeeze some of this lemon juice on here, you know? Yeah, that's gonna bring out that rich flavor. That's almost like a mukbang. Food review and recipe all in one video. Mmm, mm mmm. So steaming it is one way of cooking the eel. My preference is having it um, kind of like a stir fry. You can also bake it. Steaming it is the best way when you cook a fresh fish. Nice, real nice. So with eel, sometimes if you don't prepare it properly, it has that muddy taste like a catfish. But since my mom prepared it properly, it's actually quite good. And I think because the juju bees help us actually bring out that slight sweetness in it. So it's, it's definitely a real tasty. Oh, look at this thing. This is the head of it, head of the ear. See, some of you guys might be scared of eating it, but I'm just gonna lay it down. Mm. So an eel doesn't have a lot of bones, but you gotta be careful because it can get stuck in your throat. Wow, I haven't eaten eel in quite a while, and it's definitely a different texture and taste that you guys are probably not used to. So think of it like a, actually this kind of tastes like, reminds me of like um, a mellowed out catfish with a lot less meat and definitely a lot more expensive and scarier to prepare since it's in the form of almost like a snake. Overall, I think my mom did a pretty good job. Um, I think it just need a little bit of, hint of salt, but other than that, it's an easy meal to prepare. You just have to spend a little bit more money buying the eel, 
But if you have never tried it, I highly recommend it because it's definitely something that's worth tasting and paying the money for. Overall, I'm going to hook my mom's recipe up with a um, AD 4%. <laughs> I think she probably disagrees and probably gives herself probably usually like a 90% or so. But I think you guys will enjoy the recipe. Hope you guys enjoy this video. There's going to be many more coming. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your family. Eat hard. Work out hard, baby. So I have a little bit of leftover of the steamed eel and Missouri rice. But this time, I add some peas. Doesn't that look good? Yeah.